Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry, and I want to tell you a story. Do you know stories take on different meaning throughout your life? They can have one meaning when they happen, but a completely different meaning throughout the experiences you've had. I shared this story before, but it has a completely different meaning now. My friend Tia and Terry and I were going to this church to sing at my friend Milo's sister's wedding. We walked in in our taffeta dresses, and we were bells of the ball. We had just come back from college, and we were all that first semester back. It was like, ooh, look at us. Mm-hmm. So we go to the front of the church, and there is a pew that says, do not sit here. Now, the rest of the church was pretty packed, so we looked at the note and said, they don't mean us. We sat down, and as we all sat down and leaned back in that pew, the whole pew went rocking backwards. It hadn't been bolted down. We screamed and laughed as that taffeta went up in the air, and somehow, collectively, we pulled ourselves forward to save ourselves from slamming all the way back to the floor. We got up and we laughed as hard as we could without really disrupting that church, but we realized, oh yeah, they meant us. This story takes on a different meaning for me right now, because that sign on the bench is very similar to COVID. We think that all of the things that are going on, they don't mean us. It's not about me. I can sit anywhere I want. I can go anywhere I want. I've got a mask on. I've been vaccinated. I can do whatever I want. They don't mean me. I don't need to get vaccinated. I'm fine. I don't need to wear a mask. I'm fine. You all have some kind of crazy going on. Plus, I don't really like needles. and So they don't mean me. A variant is a variant because it couldn't get you the last time. And so... What do diseases do? They mutate. They're looking for a way to continue to live. And they're living off of us. And the life that they take gives them the strength that that, that disease, coronavirus, to keep going. And it will variate around your behavior, around your activity, because you won't sit still. There are procedures and policies in place, and some people are doing them extremely well. Some of us are just kind of like, we got through the last one. We'll get through this one. I believe that too. But I also do believe that when they said, don't sit here, they did mean me. I love you. Follow the signs. Follow the science. Take the precaution. Talk to an elder about what they're seeing and feeling and knowing. It's in <laughs> the water. Be careful, folks. Be kind to one another. Be more loving. Be more compassionate. And slow down. Pay attention. I love you.